Hello Network Engineers, Quinn here. I'd like to tell you a little bit about some new and exciting features that we have with our latest release of Cisco Modeling Labs. So if you haven't heard yet, Cisco Modeling Labs release 2.8 has introduced a completely new free tier. Yes, free as in anyone can access it. All you need to do is follow the link that uh, is below in the notes and you'll be given access to uh, the Cisco Download Center that you see here on my screen for the Cisco Modeling Labs 2.8.0 free tier. Now, a couple of things that you'll need to do, you'll need to download either the ISO uh, .zip or the OVA, depending on the platform that you wish to uh, install this on, as well as the ref plat or reference platform ISO as well. That contains the images uh, that you'll be able to uh, use and instantiate within your Cisco Modeling Labs virtual topology. Now, I've deployed this uh, in my home lab, uh, but you can see here that it only allocates with the OVA uh, four CPUs, eight gigs of RAM, and 40 gigs of hard drive space. So it's actually a very, very lightweight virtual machine uh, that you can install uh, on your personal laptop uh, or a, a larger uh, server, or if you use something like a, an Intel Nook or something like that. Uh, all of those are completely acceptable platforms in order to install uh, this free tier of Cisco Modeling Labs. Now, you may be asking, okay, it's free, what's the catch? So what I will show here now is something that I've been working on from a topology. And you can see here, this is an actual running topology inside of Cisco Modeling Lab. So I have uh, routers, switches, uh, and breakouts and things like that. The uh, If you notice down here in the corner, you see it says free tier. That allows us to five simultaneously running nodes at any one time. So that's not five nodes per topology. That's five nodes in total running on the system. So I can only have five nodes running. Now, you may notice in my topology here that I have more than five, and that's because the unmanaged switches and the uh, breakouts, the, the network breakouts, are not counted towards your node limit. So it uh, is five running network devices. You can see I've set up a couple of different topologies here. Uh, I've done one with VLANs and OSP. This is using uh, uh, a switch with a couple of uh, running uh, desktops, uh, doing some, some VLAN uh, trunking and some routing and things like that. I was able to simulate uh, some uh, VLANs uh, and switching and trunking using ether channels and other things with four uh, switches. And then finally, like I said, we have something up here with a network address translation where I'm actually doing full-fledged NAT across a, a router uh, to an external device. And I have these also connected externally so I can access these uh, devices to practice things like remote access using SSH. Um, or Telnet or, or any of those protocols, I can have it connect to third-party services. So if I'm running maybe a TACX server, or I have some kind of device providing radius, authentic uh, radius accounting and things like that, uh, it's all supported there using those external breakouts.